Hi, I'm Stuart Russell. I'm sorry I can't be there in person due to an immovable conflict. My topic today is, what if we succeed? Finally, more than 70 years after Alan Turing's paper, Computing Machinery and Intelligence, we're starting to discuss this question. By success, I mean, what if we create general purpose, human level or superhuman AI? That is, AI that can quickly learn to perform well at any task that humans can perform, and probably many more besides. Now, the fact that we're discussing it does not mean that it's imminent. In fact, I think we're a long way away. Our current ideas don't work as well as we think they do, and we need some big new ideas, as well as reintegration of some big old ideas. It's very hard to predict when this will happen, but the potential impact is huge, so we still need to talk about it. The economic value of general purpose AI would be almost incalculable, certainly in the quadrillions of dollars. Assuming we solve the problem of equitable distribution, it could make material goods and services essentially free. It could also provide significant advances in science and health and education. On the downside, AI is already being misused in ways that exacerbate bias, amplify disinformation, enable social control and surveillance, and kill people. As every programmer knows, if a computer can do something once, it can do it a million times with very little extra work by the programmer. And that includes killing people. Now, just down the road in Geneva is the home of the UN negotiations on lethal autonomous weapons. So I would ask the nation states who will sit down in November to discuss this. What will you say to those who are left after the first large scale massacre by machine? Will you say, oops, sorry, we never imagined this was possible? Okay, end of moral outrage. To return to our story, what if we succeed? Interestingly, Alan Turing did discuss this question in a radio lecture in 1951. He said, we should have to expect the machines to take control. In other words, success in AI could mean the end of human civilization. I think the reason is that we have been thinking of AI the wrong way. The standard model for AI is that we develop algorithms that optimize a fixed known objective. For example, chess programs try to checkmate the opponent. Navigation apps find the least cost route to a given destination. Reinforcement learning algorithms maximize the sum of rewards and so on. And the same basic paradigm holds in control theory, in operations research, in statistics, and in economics. Unfortunately, as we move into the real world, this paradigm fails because we cannot specify objectives completely and correctly. And if we make a mistake, we are creating a chess match between us and a machine that is single-mindedly pursuing an objective at odds with our own. Eventually, the machine will win. And I think this is what Turing had in mind. The better the AI, the worse the outcome. So maybe the standard model is wrong. If we can't specify objectives correctly, it's insane to build machines that require fully specified objectives and then treat them as gospel truth. Instead, we need machines that know that they don't know the true objective, which is our true preferences about the future, even though that's what they must pursue. So this new model for AI is strictly more general than the old one, but it is still solvable. We call this an assistance game, and the algorithms that solve assistance games behave in new ways. They ask permission before carrying out plans that change the world in ways whose values they don't know. They form minimally invasive plans that change the world as little as possible, and they allow themselves to be switched off. In general, they're characterized by the flow of preference information from humans at runtime. And it is rational for us to deploy such algorithms because they are provably beneficial to us. We're just at the beginning phase of developing the new model. And there is a vast research agenda that brings in questions from moral philosophy, social sciences, cognitive science, neuroscience, and so on. The arrival of general purpose AI is quite unpredictable, which means it's important to be prepared. 
In my view, that means steering AI in a new direction sooner rather than later.